Hi, everybody from Coach Tom. I went to Goodwill Bins and I bought a Gaylord of Books because I'm looking for those winners to post up on Amazon. So here we go. For those that don't know, a Gaylord is a funny word because I'm so old. If you called someone a Gaylord when I was young, they'd get mad, but I just, it's a funny word. It's a four by four, the size of that pallet and one of these huge farm boxes. And you're gonna see how many books are in. Here it is, and you saw how deep it is. So it's gonna take me an hour or two to empty this thing out. And I have a little process and a plan of how I get the books out of there, but it's pretty heavy. Uh, the last time I did this, I had two of these pallets or Gaylords. I'm just gonna do one. I can get this done. I take pictures of these fiction books and I send them to my daughter because she's a big fan of these stories and she's a pretty good writer herself too. But uh, strangely, these fiction books were mass produced. So they don't have a lot of value unless I can get a complete set of a similar uh, group there to sell. Anyway, found these right on the top. I find lots of kids books, but I send this picture as a group text to my family and especially to my son because just look at it. It's pretty humorous. But again, the kids' books, I have to find a way to give them away to people and to get them to kids because they're barely worth a penny a piece. Because my son is working on his master's to become a marriage family therapist, I find these types of books, and these often will have value because they are college or postgraduate college books, and uh, their season will be coming up soon for summer school, that kind of May, June buying spike price will come up as well as the August, September spike and the December spike up in prices. Uh, these books tend to have to be within the last six years or so younger. That's when they get used. Just keep an eye out on these anywhere you can find them. Some of the religious books will have uh, incredible value. I do shoot this one to my uh, kids and family because uh, after all the years of Catholic school, we sent them to uh, my kids are pretty free thinkers, and uh, they're not totally atheists, but they're definitely free thinkers, and this is just a humorous thing for them. But again, some of these have value. This one probably not so much once I look it up because it's for kids. But the deep stuff, the philosophical stuff, those religious books sometimes have value. Check them out. In the same vein as the religious books and my family's views, we do like George Carlin. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, this is a pretty good book, probably mass produced, doesn't have a ton of value, but George Carlin, I think he got it. Check him out. This one probably doesn't have a ton of value because it's from Target. Sorry, Target. But I like sending this kind of stuff to my wife because she's pretty darn awesome. And I just always like, you know, pumping her up because she's pretty darn great. And she is having an awesome life. Thank you very much. Some of these you might want to keep and read yourself. Just don't don't become a hoarder and fill up a garage full of stuff you're not reading. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't flipping, you slipping. Thank you, Reezy Resells. Check him out. All right, mother load. We found one that has some value. Going to show you on the next clip. Often in that huge Gaylord, the big issue is going through books and some don't have value. So you have to figure out a way to get them donated somewhere and your labor and your time involved. Because this is the nugget you're trying to find in the sand. And here it is. A college type book so here we go uh, the sales rank I would like to see it a little lower that's two million but that means it is selling at some point uh, that's a pretty good price point uh, I didn't go through the whole Gaylord though I did get it emptied and, and plotted away but in just an initial for what I spent on the Gaylord 50 ish dollars I've got my money back on a long tail already with with this so that's that's the thrill of the hunt well, there you have it. I've got it emptied. I got to go through and scan more, but I've got about just cherry picking about 300 bucks plus value just off the top and a load of laughs. And I got to do it uh, at my home again, just stacking books so I can get a big inventory so I could. Uh, this is going to slow down, as I mentioned in other videos during the football season. Uh, clearly, when I'm coaching a football team, I'm not going in the middle of the week to go pick up a Gaylord of books. I love that word. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you've got a truck and access to getting kind of a large number of books that a lot of people haven't looked at that you can scan and maybe get some winners, 
Uh, for me, I made over 500 last month uh, doing this on Amazon. I can do it. You can do it. Uh, hit the bell notifications. I've got a lot of different topics, but thanks for watching. Uh, it's, it's just fun. I've got a family that's supportive. I got a little area to do this mess. I think it's definitely doable for a lot of people. Don't get that fancy whip. Go get a truck. You can make more money with it. Get out there and hustle, guys. Be careful out there.